the audiences are just wonderful. We've really hit our straps now because it's a very difficult play. John Misto is a wonderful writer, but it's very tricky because it goes from high comedy to a huge tragedy and the audiences are loving it because they, they don't really know whether they should laugh or cry, but invariably they laugh, thank goodness. Ah, oh, this must be my one touch lotion. <laughs> well. Eight hour cream by Elizabeth Arden. <laughs> what? You rubbed her breath onto your skin? Get out! You know, in the rehearsal room when you're doing comedy and you don't have that kind of immediate response from the audience, it naturally changes the timing and the rhythm, but it also changes your perception and your understanding of, of what they are experiencing because we really had no idea of, you know, actually how funny it is. And when you discover that, it's really quite beautiful, you know, as an actor. And I haven't done comedy for a long time, so it's really nice to make people laugh. What do you think he's for? Don't you mind! <laughs> These are not public property! <laughs> Dressing up's been good. <laughs> That's been really lovely. We all get to wear some pretty fabulous things, so and that's that's really been a delicious experience. Nobody screws with my business. Well, what do you think Revson is doing right now? How can we sell coloured lipsticks on the black and white TV show, huh? There's so much material on Helena Rubinstein, and she really was the, a giantess of the business world, and she did conquer a man's world. I have to eat a lot through the show, so. I've lost all my appetite. I don't know if I'm going to put weight on or lose it because I eat sausages and chicken all the way through. You can see that we're enjoying ourselves too and I think that always helps. You start tomorrow, 9 a.m. and wear some clothes, please, to work. <laughs> my office is very cold. And if that thing gets any smaller, we'll have to send out a search party. <laughs>